Hello, what's up Ketchup? In this video, I'm going to test whether the built-in microphone of the GoPro Hero 9 is good enough for vlogging and documenting your life activities in general. For me, this is very important to know as a newbie vlogger because I'm not comfortable carrying my full vlogging setup outside with other people around. I still haven't learned not to give a f what people think or say whenever they hear me mumble with my wrong grammar and thick Filipino accent. Don't get me wrong, of course, basically, I'm proud of my Filipino accent, not just the wrong grammar and broken English. Hence, I want my setup to be less conspicuous as much as possible, and for me, GoPro Hero 9 is the best device for that situation. In this video, I'm going to compare the built-in microphone of the GoPro Hero 9 with the GoPro Media Mod and also the Rode Video Micro. I'm going to speak as well both in front and back and also test them in indoor-outdoor settings as well. To be fair with the built-in microphone, I'll be removing the dead cut on the Rode Video Micro and the Media Mod. Without further ado, let's do this now! I'm excited! This is GoPro Hero 9 with Rode Video Micro on. Testing 1, 2, 3, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Galileo! Galileo Figaro Magnifico! This is the GoPro Hero 9 with built-in microphone. Testing 1, 2, 3, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Galileo! Galileo Figaro Magnifico! This is GoPro Hero 9 with media mod on using the front microphone. Testing 1, 2, 3, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Galileo! Galileo Figaro Magnifico! Testing GoPro Hero 9 with Rode Video Micro. Testing 1, 2, 3, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This is the GoPro Hero 9 with built-in microphone speaking at the back. Can you hear me? The quick brown fox over the lazy dog. This is GoPro Hero 9 using the media mod on back microphone. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Testing GoPro Hero 9 with Rode Video Micro. Testing 1, 2, 3. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Galileo! Galileo Figaro! Magnifico! Testing GoPro Hero with built-in microphone. Testing 1, 2, 3. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Galileo! Galileo Figaro! Magnifico! Testing GoPro Hero 9 with media mode on. Testing the front microphone. Testing 1, 2, 3. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Galileo! Galileo Figaro! Magnifico! This GoPro Hero 9 with Rhodes Video Micro. Testing quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Testing GoPro Hero 9 with built-in microphone. Testing 1, 2, 3. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Testing GoPro Hero 9 with media mod using the back microphone. Testing 1, 2, 3. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Okay, so what's the verdict? I'm very happy to say that in my opinion, the audio quality of the GoPro Hero 9 built-in microphone is of good quality. Maybe the Rose Video Micro has a little bit of an advantage, but the thing is that would my, make my setup bulkier and also more obvious that I'm vlogging. Remember, for my purposes at least, I want it to be less conspicuous as much as possible. And also, speaking behind the camera, this one has an advantage because the degradation of the audio is very negligible on this one. Whereas for the Rose Video Micro, I have to point it towards me or have to speak near the microphone as close as possible. The only time I think the built-in microphone will struggle is when it's windy. Obviously, the wind noise will be captured by the, these two microphones. Hence, I need to cover them with wind muff or wind slayer. I've seen some in Amazon that are meant for the older GoPro Hero models, but I think I can use them with GoPro Hero 9. But I think those are not neat solution. So if you know something, please share them on the comments section below. I know this review is about the built-in microphone for GoPro Hero 9, but I want to give my two cents on this ridiculous media mod. GoPro, why would you put a microphone that is inferior than a built-in one? Might as well just remove this and sell this at a cheaper price and call this a mic adapter because that's what it is right now. If only this microphone produced good quality audio, it would have been perfect. It looks so damn nice and sleek. I don't even have to worry about the wind noise because it comes with a dead cat that looks so sleek. Unfortunately, GoPro, this is garbage. I hope you find this video useful. If you have any suggestion on the dead cut for the built-in microphone of the GoPro Hero 9, please share them in the comment section below. Thank you very much.